Hey, Eric Peacock here at Pure Beauty Fitness. Tuesday, tip of the week, uh, neck pain with overhead pressing. That's our subject today. Um, so a couple things you can do about that. It's very similar to maybe a, work, a, weird, uh, a video we did a few weeks ago with the shoulder, but a lot of times the neck and the shoulder are intertwined. Um, but things you can do to make sure your neck doesn't get jacked up when you're overhead pressing is if you're gonna do it from a seated position, once again, angle your bench back a little bit. That takes pressure off the cervical spine. You always wanna make sure that head's straight. It's not out here, not the chicken neck. And the, one of the other little tricks I always tell people is put the tongue on the roof of the mouth. That shuts down a lot of the neck muscles. And we're going to go right here. And I like to press in here, palm in, to palm out. You can do this one or two arms. Keeping the tongue on the roof of the mouth. The other thing too that really helps and so you don't strain the neck back is that you follow with your eyes. So as the, as the weight comes down, your eyes are focused down. But as the weight goes up, your eyes go up. Eyes down, eyes up. You have a optical connection your eyes to your muscles so when you're doing an extension type move when you're extending that arm eyes up is it a good it follows with extension eyes down follows with flexion so as I'm flexing that arm down I'm, 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 I'm flexing or I'm making that that lever that arm shorter that's flexion as I go longer it's more extension so follow with your eyes if you're doing it from standing another way to do it is to just make sure instead of doing it with your feet together that can cause a lot of problems um, so what we're going to do is use a st staggered stance like this, which is going to give you less more stability and less stress on the spine. My elbow always needs to end up by my ear, not out here, which is going to put stress on my neck and shoulder. Now another exercise that gives you a lot of problems typically will be like a, a, a lateral raise, like this, if I'm doing shoulders. You'll see people do this, and a lot of times they'll feel in their neck. So one little way you can do this and get the advantage of training the delt is take one numb little leg, and then head to like a rack, put your feet together, just hold yourself off the side to kind of unload your body. And I can just do it this way, make sure to keep, still keep my head centered, tongue on the roof of my mouth, and just coming up here to shoulder height, and down you'll feel this puts a lot less load on your neck. So those are just a couple ways to train your shoulders and take the stress off your neck so you actually hit the deltoid versus feeling it all in the neck. Sarah Peacock, Pure Vita Fitness, your Tuesday tip of the week, we'll see you next week.